Yes. So what do I think about inherent mining or other centralization tendencies like access to the developer, commit, or uh, to other things? I think we forget that Bitcoin has actually become a hell of a lot less centralized in the eight years that it's existed. So in the beginning, there was one developer. His name was Satoshi. Well, not his real name, but still. And there was one miner. Uh, his name was also Satoshi. So all of mining and development was centralized under one person. Right? Today, if you look at Core, it's gone from a grouping of about a dozen people three years ago to more than a hundred active developers who are working continuously, some of them full time. If you look at mining, um, you know people say, oh, it's centralized in China. Uh, China is a massively decentralized country, <laughs> and so even within China, it's actually massively decentralized there. How many miners do we have today compared to how many miners we had three years ago? Um, so the trends, even though they seem more centralized, are actually more decentralized. I'm not worried, and part of the reason I'm not worried is because there is constant pressure in the opposite direction to decentralize, and this is a self-correcting system. If we centralize too much, the system will become vulnerable to attack, and then it will be attacked. And then it will either be forced to decentralize, or it will die, and we'll build a better one next time, which is more decentralized. This is a very self-correcting thing. So, I'm not particularly worried about it. <laughs>